It took me、um, a lot of courage, definitely, to talk about this.、Mm-hmm. I really can't live a normal life. 皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. So it's me, Shogo, and I have Harumi, my wife, today. Just the two of us today. Hi.、Yes. So,、uh, first of all, I would like to apologize a little bit. I'm pretty sure we surprised a lot of you、mm-hmm. with the thumbnail and the title. But I need to assure you that this is absolutely no joke.、Mm-hmm. Yes, and we are very serious. And、um, I had, I've been thinking for a very, very long time about when to talk about this, if I'm going to be talking about this or not in the first place and、mm-hmm. such. But this year, especially because we've been becoming more and more. You know, busier,、mm. yeah, becoming more and more busy.、Um, we came to a point where we have to talk about this.、Mm. And as you saw in the thumbnail, yes, I am suffering from a sickness actually, and it's giving me physical disadvantages. So, today in this video, this short video, I want to first of all talk about what this sickness is. Yes, and how it's going to be affecting our activities on YouTube and our training and such. And lastly, about our feelings and、mm-hmm. about our goals too. So, I'd like to get to the,、um, the main topic right away the sickness that I've been suffering for six years now, almost six, seven years now, is called Raynaud's Syndrome. Raynaud's syndrome. I'm pretty sure that's the way you pronounce it in English too. But、um, it's basically, I'll put the,、uh, the scientific definition in the,、uh, through the, the editing of this video. But basically, it's a sickness where、um, your blood does not run to your end vessels. So f- for me right now, for my fingertips, for example, or、uh, my toes, yes, or for my ears, or even my,、uh, the tip of my nose. When you feel coldness or when you feel stress,、mm. yes, on blood stops running to my end, the end of my veins actually. I'll be putting out some videos on the screen too and some pictures of other、uh, people who are suffering from disease, but you can actually see my fingers are very, very white and purple. And、um, if you look up this sickness, they would say that worst case scenario, Um, your fingers can start to rot. But I am actually suffering this worst case scenario.、Um, I've seen some people talk,、um, saying in my comments in our videos, yes, Shogo, are your fingers okay? They seem really white. Or Shogo, what's wrong with the shape of your ear?、Mm-hmm. You know? But yes, you,、um, I've been,、uh, what should I say, avoiding replying to the comments because. You know, a sickness isn't something that you would like be happy to talk about, right?、Mm. So I'm really sorry I wasn't, been, I wasn't able to reply、uh, straightforward to these comments, but this is the reason why. Yeah,、mm. so you can see on my fingers,、uh, there's some black points on my thumbs.、Uh, there's one right here where I bent my、uh, middle finger on my right hand right now. This actually has a hole in it.、Mm. Yes. And yeah, other parts too. There's some, there's a black point on the tip of my pinky on my left hand.、Mm-hmm. Yes. All these parts are actually starting to rot my fingertips. I did not bump it into anything, I did not hit, it, hit、mm-hmm. my fingers with anything. I'm just living my daily life inside my house most of the time with the heater on, and this is what I suffer from.、Mm-hmm. This is the results I get. Most People who get this is usually、um, you know, what the information on the internet says. Most people who suffer from the Raynaud's syndrome is usually people who smoke,、mm. yes, or people who、um, experience severe stress, or people who、um, don't get enough sleep. So there's really、uh, no concrete reason to it. There's like d- various reasons to it. But number one, I do not smoke at all.、Mm. Yes, I do not smoke at all. I've never smoked before in my life.、Mm. And stress, well, yeah, but I mean, I'm probably one of the happiest people on this planet, you know, with my wife, my kids, with my friends doing this channel.、Um, I'm really, you know, living my dream life, you know, doing my dream job. And sleep, yeah, maybe, yes. But, you know, compared to the.、Um, I don't know, the Japanese salary <laughs> men <laughs> who are really close to Karoshi, for example, I definitely get you know, at least five to six hours 
of sleep most of the time.、Mm-hmm. Yes, unless I'm super busy with something. So I really don't understand what the reasons are,、mm-hmm. to be honest. And yeah, of course, I went to a lot of hospitals in the past. Yes, and they would always ask me like, "Do you smoke? Do you get enough sleep? Do you have stress?" I'm like, "No." No, no, we know everything, you know, and yes,、yeah, so、I went to a pretty big hospital in Kyoto before.、Um, they did a blood test. They did、uh, take took pictures, of, you know, X rays, you know, of my whole body.、Um, nothing. I had no problems at all, actually. So,、um, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely the.、Um, What I'm experiencing is definitely the Raynaud's syndrome. It's a very the most severe case,、mm-hmm. but we don't know why it's happening to me.、Mm-hmm. Yes, no one knows. I went to a、um, what should I say? A, a, a lot of other. I went to on.、Um, it's called kampo in、mm-hmm. Japanese.、Mm-hmm. I don't know how to say it in English properly. Yes, but yeah. Anyways, two other different kinds of hospitals, and they did not all. all Did not work actually, and this year again because I'm able to work at home, you know, thanks to this YouTube channel,、mm-hmm. my fingers are getting better.、Mm-hmm. You know, what I experience is definitely getting better. But、um, if I, if, for example, if I go outside and do like a regular job, what I used to do in the tourism、mm-hmm. industry, for example, it was getting worse. So、um, someday, if I like, for example, continue my previous job, my fingers might have completely came off. You know.、Mm-hmm. Which would have been really, really scary. Yeah. So, anyways, um, we, I don't actually um do any of the things that the usually what we say causes this sickness. And I went to a lot of hospitals, and none of them worked. So right now at home, what we do really is always keep the heater on.、Mm. When I when I feel that my fingers are cold, I would use hot water to warm it. And of course, we—I've been doing—I've been、uh, dealing with the sickness for about six, seven years now, actually.、Mm-hmm. So we've been thinking up, you know, of a lot of different ways to deal with it,、mm-hmm. you know, to fight with it. One of them is, for example, trying to always,、um, what should I say, avoid being hungry.、Mm-hmm. Yes, it's really interesting. But once I fe- start to feel hunger, my fingers get start to get cold really easily. Usually in summertime, you might see in my videos the videos that I shoot in summertime. I look a little bit skinnier <laughs> because during summertime, for health reasons, I usually only eat once or twice a day,、mm-hmm. and I don't eat a lot of a big portion actually. But winter, winter, if I do that, on、um, my fingers get worse actually for some reason. I don't know. No doctor has taught me this, but for some reason that happens. And again, you know, lack of sleep. Will make it worse.、So、I try to get as much sleep as possible. Some of you might have noticed why is Shogo not always in the morning live streams, for example, or why can't he wake up as usual? You know, compared to summer, this is actually the reason why. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to explain to you earlier, but um, my fingers, a parts of my fingers are already rotten, rotting this ear too. But yes, my ear, as some of you have noticed, this is my proper ear over here. Yes. And then this ear over here, as you can see, is completely what chipped. I guess、mm. you can say a big part of it is gone, right?、Mm. Yeah. So this、um, happened to me. How many years? Three years ago. It was probably when I was working at my first job at the samurai at restaurant. The sushi, yes. yes, exactly. My left ear, complete. The top of my left ear completely rotted off. By the way, so those were probably the worst ears, I think,、mm. because I was working outside at、mm. a,、um, you know, a restaurant, restaurant where we would, you know, stick our hands into the fridge to get things, you know. Ingredients and such, dishes. wash dishes, cold water、mm. sometimes. So probably that was、um, probably the worst time, and we couldn't stop the、uh, my left ear from rotting. So yeah, you were working till、mm-hmm. the midnight, right? Yeah, we were.、Uh, yeah, I was working、mm-hmm. till midnight. Came home, probably slept at two or three,、mm-hmm. maybe.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, my、uh, work routine was pretty、um, a night shift kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. So、I、was really usually working until a late time too. So. My my year is not going to be coming back, so yeah, <laughs> yeah unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, it was very painful when that、mm. happened. Yes, I literally could not sleep at night. Of course, a、mm. part of your body is going to be rotting off from you. So the pain lasted for about a month, I think,、mm-hmm. and I really could, couldn't sleep at night because it was just too much pain. You know. You were really surprised when you woke up at night. Sometimes I was standing right next to the bed <laughs> because it was too painful and I couldn't sleep. Yeah. So suddenly, by the way, um, there was no 
on timing where, oh, this must be the reason why this happened. It was really me when I was still a university student. Mm. My ears started to turn black because the, the surface started to rot. My fingers started to not um, feel right when it was winter. And it just suddenly started. Mm. No, none of the doctors that I've met never found out the reason why. They asked me a lot of questions. Did your diet change? Did your lifestyle change? Um, no, nothing. No, no like dr dramatic change that would cause this kind of disease, but no one never throughout the seven years, of course I want to cure this if possible. Mm. And I did everything I can, but still I haven't been able to find a proper cure for it. So yeah, that's um, what the situation of my sickness is now. <laughs> So because of, you know, these fingers and, you know, the sickness, um, definitely during winter time, um, there's a lot of things I'll not be able to do. Mm. So for example, on um, the training, first of all, mm. Iaido training, I basically cannot go during winter. So from this November, I have not been able to go to Iaido training. Mm. Yes, I only, um, train, what should I say, study through books and watch videos for my training. Otherwise, the shakuhachi flute, I'm barely able to play it. Yes, under a really warm, in a really warm room, possibly, I'm still able to play it. And the no theater, I train at home, actually. Um, I connect Zoom um, and um, do the training over Zoom with my master, so I'm still able to do that, mm -hmm. yes. But definitely, um, the tea ceremony and iaido are impossible. Mm, I can't mm. do it. Yes, my, my fingers don't work and I can't properly hold on to the sword. Um, it's really scary, but once when at my tea ceremony mm. training, remember um, the tea ceremonies, they have these uh, long radles that to um, scoops, to scoop the hot water, mm. and you need to place it on your hand. And the just the weight of this amount of water going onto my finger made my finger rot, actually. Mm. So yeah, the pressure that goes on my finger when I hold on to the scoop actually made my finger rot. So that is how vulnerable my fingers are. Mm. So Yaido and tea ceremony, for sure I cannot go to training, yes. And Chakuhachi, no theater, I can barely still continue to train during winter. But yeah, that's exactly the reason why um, in the past, in my past videos, I've been saying that I can't, I couldn't continue Kudo or, um, you know, I couldn't, for example, do other instruments because I have clumsy hands, right? Mm. And that's ex actually a bit of a lie, I'm really <laughs> sorry. It's not because I have clumsy hands, it's because I have the sickness. Um, I, loved, I loved Kudo, for example, the Japanese archery budo. I loved it, seriously. I loved my instructor, I loved the art itself, and I would have continued if I didn't have the sickness, but it's impossible. Kudo is, if you do archery, for example, any kind of archery, um, it literally is about all your fingers, you know. It's literally about how you control your fingers and the main focus is right here, you know. Mm -hmm. I can barely hold on to anything during winter, so mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I couldn't train in certain things. Going to film videos outside will be limited too. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, we've been posting a lot of Kyoto Hidden Gem series. Um, we still have a lot of videos that we haven't been able to edit yet, so there will be other videos coming out soon mm -hmm. that we've uh, filmed in the past. But newer videos on this winter, this autumn, for example, we definitely won't be able to go outside and take too much. Maybe a few, mm. yes. Possibly if Kazu comes over and we can have Kazu and Tomoko doing the experience mm. and I can be just the one talking outside. It could be possible, it would still make my um, my fingers be damaged a little bit from the mm. coldness of, of, of outside, you know? And there will be certain videos that we'll, we will not be able to film. For example, mm. we've been take, uh, receiving a lot of requests for men's kimono uh. and how to tie obi, for example. Mm. I cannot um, properly tie an obi. I can, right now I'm wearing my kimono. I did this, put this on myself because I'm pretty used to it, you know? I like find a way to put it on even if my fingers are not working properly. But in terms of teaching someone how to do it, mm. That's the reason why I was always avoiding not talking too much about men's kimono because I can't do it, you know. My fingers don't work even in summertime when I don't have, you know, these 
things happen, these, these bad things happen to my fingers, they're still really, sometimes they're still in pain sometimes, even in summertime, actually. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly the reason why I haven't been able to do these kind of videos. We did the, uh, the squid game and the honeycomb challenge recently. <laughs> that was okay because it was still in September and my fingers still worked, but d definitely those kind of videos that I need to use my hands, something, you know, it requires precise movement with my fingers. Definitely we won't be able to do it during winter time. So we'll try to do the men's kimono related videos somehow. Now that you understand the situation, we'll definitely be able to try to think of something. But we won't be able to do it properly though, for sure. And if if you see me not being able to use my hands or for example, Harumi showing how to tie the obi and such, you'll probably know what happened, the reason why that, that happened, that goes on that way, so. Mm. And another thing, the live streams that we usually do, like on Instagram or the weekly training live streams, might be a little bit shortened, or I might not be able to do certain things. Mm. Yes, because for example, right now, talking in front of the camera for just maybe less than 30 minutes, my hands are already starting to hurt, and mm. I cannot, I literally cannot feel them already at all, mm. actually. So, um, for example, Iaido, um, I think I will be doing Iaido, but definitely not as long as usual. Or you might see me struggling putting the sageo, the string, mm. on my kimono, for example. These things might happen, but I hope you understand um, about the situation, yes. And if anyone asks me about like what, what's going on you know, in the comments, it'd be great if you can answer them. Um, like introduce this video to them or explain that he has a certain sickness. It'd be great, yes, because I'll probably have to explain it a few hundred, few thousand times from <laughs> now on. So yeah. it's definitely something that I, I just can't continue to hide. So it'd be great if you can help us out, yeah. yes. Then lastly, about um, my, more, my feelings, I guess, yeah. and the goal of this channel and things like that. Uh, so first of all, um, I've been dealing with this disease for more than six, seven years now. And in the beginning, I was really, mm, I should say sad, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I really can't live a normal life, to be really honest, during winter time. Because of this, there's so many things that I can't do. You know, again, like kudo or uh, just training during winter time or you might have noticed, I mean, I've been training Iaido for six years and I'm still a second Don trainee. Like, mm -hmm. why are you taking so much time to, you know, go up to the higher Dons? This is exactly the reason why. I can't train for ha almost half of the year. And that stops me from, of course, improving my skills. And that's the reason why I have read a lot of books and I've been talking with a lot of people who train with other styles. So that's the reason why I have more knowledge about other styles and such. I was lucky in that terms way, but... So anyways, yeah, in the beginning, I was really mm, frustrated, sad and, and things like that. But eventually, um, I came to the point where like everyone, like all of us, has to deal with our bodies. Mm. Yeah, we might be... Um, some people might be taller, some, some people might be shorter, some people might get easily fat, some mm -hmm. people might not, you know, how we look, everything, you know. We can't, we can't basically, you know, just change our bodies, like, like swap our bodies that easily, right? Including mm -hmm. these disadvantages and everyone has something that mm -hmm. we um, are fighting with or dealing with or struggling with. And this is just the thing that I have to deal with through my life. So I just came to the point where, okay, so this is my challenge then. I can't just, you know, buy a new car and, you know, ride on that kind of thing and just change my body, right? This mm -hmm. is the only car, this is the only body I'll be driving through my whole life. Then I just have to deal with it. And um, I'm really thankful for a lot of things you know, being able to be a returnee, being able to speak English, or, you know, my body height is 173 centimeters, and uh, <laughs> that's like the completely average height for a Japanese man. So anyways, everything else, like my voice or, you know, everything else I'm really grateful for and thankful for. So this is, I just, um, should I say, consider this sickness is just another challenge, something that I need to deal with. And I will, of course, though, continue to do my best to try to find a cure, of course, if possible. Yes, I will continue to do that as well, so. And as for the goal of this channel, um, we are not going to be changing anything, by the way. <laughs> One million subscribers by January 2023, we are definitely, absolutely going to be achieving this goal. No matter what comes in our way, I'm not going to be changing anything because I have seen so many wonderful, beautiful people who have achieved 
um, unbelievable goals in their lives. You know, I watch a lot of, for example, TED Talks or you know, presentations or speeches and stuff online, and there are people who experience much bigger disadvantages, but they have achieved 10 or 100 or 1,000 times bigger things than I have in my life. So I can't be, you know, complaining with just my fingertips, right? Or my ears or my fe or feet or whatever. But anyways, I'm not gonna be um, giving up anything. And my team, of course, all understands about my sickness, but we are all not gonna be bringing down our goal or absolutely nothing. Um, we are always working towards trying to make Japan a better place for future generations, and that is what we want to do no matter what comes in our way. So it took me um, a lot of courage, definitely, to talk about this. Mm -hmm. I was afraid some people might think that, oh, this guy is not capable of training all year round. This guy doesn't have enough training. Like, you know, saying six years, but not being able to train for half an year means I've basically I've been only trained for three years, for example, right? But I was a little bit afraid some people might say these kind of things. But in the end, I thought I should be honest, sincere mm -hmm. to my viewers, to you, because, you know, our channel is your Japanese friend in Kyoto, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just really, really happy if you could... Um, accept me i guess you could say <laughs> yes and uh thank again yeah thank you very much for uh watching this video till the end is there anything you like to say how to me before we go ずっと横で見てて、もう本当になんか変わってあげたらいいのにって思うぐらい辛くて、例えばこの間も日向が服をね着るっていうこう、それ通す動きのこのパンチでショウ君の手にパンって当たっただけでもう。もう、こう、なんて。いや、literally、yes。それが日常毎日あるっていう。exactly。私がこう、手触りに行こうとしても、あ、痛いかってなるというか。うん、うん、うん。泣きそう。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや